If you'd like to learn how to make an NPC run from one random part to another endlessly, keep watching and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Welcome to Roblox Snippets. Alright, before we can get our NPC running, uh, we need to give them some parts to run to. So in your workspace, come up to uh, the workspace itself and click on the plus. And we'll add a folder in here and we'll just call this All Points. And then in the workspace itself, go ahead and create a part. And you can make it any color you like. I generally like to make things that uh, I'm going to make invisible later a bright red, so I can I know that they sort of shouldn't be there. And come down to uh, Anchored. We want to anchor the part. And turn off Can Collide. And we'll also change uh, the size of the part to, we'll leave it at uh, 4 by 0.5 by 4 so uh, like a tile and we can just move it down to the ground all right so once you have this uh, we can rename the part to be called point and drag it inside of all points so in the um, the demo at the beginning I made a grid you can make it any um, configuration you like doesn't matter where they are or how far they are apart um, however I'm just going to right click and duplicate this one and come up to model and I'm going to move this, um, say, six studs apart and drag it across like this. Maybe, maybe more than that. Let's say um, 15 studs. So we'll make them a bit apart like this. All right. So if I move out here, uh, I can control. Actually, I'll just right click and duplicate and move across here. And now we have three. If we want to make a grid of nine, then you can select one and hold down shift and click that one to get all of them highlighted like this and then right click and duplicate and we'll push that row forward and then right click and duplicate and we'll push that one forward like that and I might just uh, highlight all of them and just move them over a little bit so they're sort of right in front of my spawn point here so that's uh, the points that the, the NPC will run between so now we need an NPC. So to get an NPC in here to work with, we're going to come up to Avatar and over to Rig Builder. And now you can choose your own, leave it as R15. It shouldn't matter whether it's R6 or R15, but uh, you can choose your own avatar. I'm just going to, um, uh, yeah, well, I might use my own avatar and we'll see how that works. All right, so. I've inserted my avatar in here and he's called Rig. All right, so we can expand him out or shrink up this here. Now, what we're going to do is, um, because I've used my own avatar here, it has this animate folder in it. So if you use one of the other models, it may not have that folder in it. So probably best you use this one. And this contains all of the default animations in here that my player has available to them when they play a game. Now we're going to make use of run and if we expand run you'll see it has one animation inside of it and that's the one we're going to access uh, inside of the rig. So to get our rig animated we'll simply come up to the rig itself and if it's colored blue like this and selected uh, just left click on it and add a script and then rename that to be anim, uh, just anim uh, rig okay so that's what it's going to do and I'll make my my code a bit bigger here all right so the first thing we'll do is get the animation running in our rig so we'll get rid of hello world and we'll add some code so a local run whoops run anim will equal script dot parent animate now animate is the folder so if you still have it open here so we're going into this folder and the next thing we're looking for down here is run now pay attention to the capitalization must be correct and inside we want the run anim so dot run anim code sense should pick it up if um, if you've typed it incorrectly so you should end up with something like this now the next thing we need is the humanoid so the humanoid will be equal to script dot parent and then dot humanoid. 
So because the script's inside of the rig here, we don't need to use wait for child or anything like that. Um, it should just work uh, straight away. And local will create a track. So NM track. And we're going to load the animation onto the humanoid. So we put humanoid and then a colon and load animation and add the run anim in here. And then we're simply going to anim track and play at the end. And that will get our uh, character animated. Now if you want to test it, I'll just give it a save and let's play and we'll see if my character will be there just running in the spot. There we go. Alright, so there's my character running on the spot. So he's ready to be moved and move to one of these points. So let's stop that there. Alright, so the next thing that we want to do now is uh, to get this character, alright, and get them to run onto a random point, alright. So there's a couple of steps to do that. Uh, I'll just uh, stop doing that and come around here. So inside of uh, the, the rig again, we'll add another script. And we'll call this um, move NPC script and get rid of the hello world. So the first thing that we want to do is get this folder of points as a table in our script. So to do that, we'll create a variable called all points and then go into the workspace to the all points folder and use the method get children and that will return back a table of all points inside this folder now we'll need our humanoid again so we'll say local humanoid I'll type the whole thing this time script dot parent dot humanoid and we're going to create a function here so local function move NPC And inside of here, the first thing that we, we'd like to do when we run this function is get one of these points, a random one, out of here. So we'll create a variable called random point. And it will be equal to math.random. And somewhere between one and, we'll add hashtag, all points. So what this does is this number, random point, represents an index number of this table. So even if this puts it in, in different orders, etc., whatever is in index 1, all right, will be one of these parts in here and 2, etc. Using hashtag this way uh, means that if you add or take away points out of this um, folder, it won't break your code. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. And once we have this random point, we want to repeat, all right, this loop in here, and we're going to repeat it until the humanoid dot move to finished and then a colon with wait. So this loop will continue to run round and round and round, all right, um, and do whatever we tell it inside here until the humanoid has moved to the finished point, so or the point that we're sending them to. So it'll keep trying until this is done. And we move the humanoid by saying humanoid, and we'll use move to. Now when you use move to, you'll see up in the helper text there that it wants a position. So that's uh, what it wants uh, you to, to put in there. So the way we get that position is to say all points. So we're looking at all the points um, in the table. And then a set of square brackets. And this is where we put in our, our random point as the index number. So random point will be a number. And then just outside the square brackets, add a dot and type position. get rid of that there so the humanoid will continue to try to get to this position um, and run through this loop over and over again and when that's done then we want it to do it again and pick a different random point so the way this function will work is we've written the function but it won't do anything until we call it so if we take a copy of the name and put it below the function so when the script runs once it will run the function one time However, we want it to run over and over again. So what we can do is simply make the function call itself by adding its own name inside. So it will 
call the function once, run this code till it gets to here, and then it'll call it again, and it'll just keep doing that over and over again. All right, so to test this out, come up to view, and we'll turn on our output window down the bottom here, so we can see if we get any errors. Uh, give it a quick save, and let's play. All right, I'm all loaded in, and my um, rig started over here, picked one of the points, ran to it, and then stayed within this grid, running back and forward between whichever point was chosen next. So I, I do hope you enjoyed that. Um, there are a couple of things I'd like to point out. Firstly, this is not pathfinding. So if I was to put a wall here, it would not calculate how to get around that wall. Pathfinding, that's what pathfinding does. It will avoid obstacles, etc. This is good if the, the rig has clear line of sight between the points in here. Okay, so that's a, I will make another video uh, on uh, pathfinding. Uh, I probably already have one up. However, I will be making others that uh, go into more detail about how to avoid things and make your, your NPC a bit smarter. So anyway, I uh, will see you in future videos. If you found this video useful, subscribe now. For more information about my online courses, go to mrbrendanross.com.